Hello again, everybody. Preston Kalshan here, and here's the situation. I'm a relatively new streamer. I've done a lot of recording to my PC, but I haven't done much streaming, and I haven't really explored all of the different streaming softwares and options that are out there. I really just use Zoom, or then I downloaded OBS Studio, and I've been recording my videos with that. But of course, what I found, as some others have found, is that it could be rather complicated. So adding banners like you see below in this video doing things like that or adding multiple streamers or even even adding your stream key can be a little bit difficult i think in obs studio so searching around and i tested every major streaming platform and i decided on Streamyard, and i'm going to tell you why so thanks for watching um we are streaming through Streamyard right now and i've got the banner going on the bottom there and it's got the the name of the speaker automatically and then the banner thing there is pretty cool and i can just turn that off and on with just a click really easily um and then i'm going to also throw up a different banner that shows you which of the platforms i tested so we'll go through that really quick i tried out pretty much all the major players okay restream melon streamlabs obs which is the desktop version, OBS Studio, which I had been using on the desktop version, and now StreamYard. So really, all the ones that I could find on YouTube, I watched the videos, the reviews, and then I just really had to get it and try them because there are some big differences, and, and here's where they are. Um, Restream, I'll start there. I use Restream, and I don't know if it's my PC or what, but I thought I was going to like that one. After trying out Melon for a second and thinking it was too simple, I went to Restream, and what I found there was that it crashed on me all the time. And I have a an i5 PC here. It's pretty fast. It's an older i5. Um, and uh, I don't even remember what my GPU is. But either way, if you have a, a mid-grade machine and you're going to try and cloud stream through that, something, I say no on Restream just because it kept crashing on me, even in just trying to record um, and, and set some things up in there. So I immediately abandoned Restream um, after trying it twice, really, comparing it. Um, StreamYard, I thought was a little bit simple, but that was a good thing. But I wasn't really sure um, about all of it. So I went over and tried Melon and compared the two pretty carefully. Melon, my biggest issue was the green screen. I love using a virtual backdrop and I'm using one now. Um, <clears throat> it didn't work at all with the green screen for me. You would have to have perfect lighting, but the, there was very little adjustment. There's only one filter adjustment for the green screen in Melon, and that just wasn't going to work for me. It is very easy. So if you're not using a green screen or you have great lighting or whatever, you need the easiest streaming platform, I do like Melon, okay? And that's Streamlabs makes the melon app now i think they had to change the name i'm not sure but it's a newer product anyways melon's pretty good but didn't work for my green screen um obs studio again and Streamlabs obs are very similar obs um, studio is a desktop application open source it's free that's the biggest perk Streamlabs obs uh desktop looked almost exactly the same a little cleaner um but still a little bit complicated i don't think it either of those are for beginners those are really advanced broadcasting softwares and and they don't make it really easy i mean it can be done and i've recorded a lot of videos through obs studio but i'm finding this to be a whole lot easier okay so let's talk about uh stream here so obviously we can use a green screen there are some things that you can't do at least that i found yet with a lot of these is with the green screen you can't be completely cut out you're gonna have a back backdrop behind you of some sort your virtual background or whatever's actually you know behind you if you don't do the green screen thing so you do have to do that you don't get that full cut out green screen look that you can do in obs studio that a lot of the streamers do online now but who cares you can get a cool virtual background and let's pull up all the now that i can screen share i wasn't thinking about that add to the stream and show you here's in Streamyard all the places that you can stream to it's not as many as Restream or any of these others, but it's plenty for me. I'm really only going to YouTube. And if you look at my destinations, I have multiple YouTube channels inside the software there so I can stream uh, to, to any of my channels, Twitter or Facebook pages. I could add LinkedIn and they do have the, the um, let's show you what they have. They have the RTMP option, hop in, Twitch, Twitter, all that. 
Okay, so some of the others, they have more sources, but these are the major players, um, in my opinion. So that's what it looks like inside StreamYard. Here's Streamlabs desktop. I tried that one. Restream home. Tried this one. Um, and then Melon. So we kind of went over that. Really enjoying StreamYard, though. So I'm brand new, really, to this streaming thing. I mean, I'm brand new to StreamYard, and I think it's really easy. Just going through kind of the control panel, you can see all the comments from all the different social networks you're streaming to and then highlight them so you could pop one up like that. That's pretty cool, really easy to do. You can create and change your banners. So I'll go back to the other banner or I can just turn it off. So I just made those ahead of time and you can decide if it's a static banner or if it's a ticker style like we have going here. There we go. And then they've got the branding. You can change up your branding and your logo. I'm using the free version here, okay? So this this has the Powered by StreamYard logo up there, and, and it doesn't have my custom logo. I could put the Live with StreamYard overlay up there. That's available. Um, and custom overlays, you do need to have a paid account. You can do the video countdown that I did at the very beginning. You can change your background color. So if you're going to go side by side, um, let's see how we do that something like this maybe you change your background if you have more than one person okay i think it's going to be if you have more than one person you'll you be yeah you can see my black background there behind the window and behind me so you can change that color let's see here if i hide that it doesn't make too much difference because the background that i'm using is black and you can just see a small little swirl there where where it changes for that background either way tested all the major streaming platforms and decided on Streamyard. so i'd love to hear what you're thinking hear your questions put them in the comments below sure appreciate you watching coming along on the journey with me and we'll see you next time hey and subscribe by the way <laughs> hit subscribe because you know it doesn't really matter it's just going to be in that subscription feed on your youtube nobody cares about it doesn't really you don't need the notifications or anything just help me get some more subscribers all right. Thanks a lot. See you later.